Fat people are discriminated against on a systemic basis. It's not healthy. It should be. We should be against being obese. We should be. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swolio, back with some more nuts on your chin. Thank you so much for being here. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button for some more salty ball bag every day. And below the beard, check out all the links below for information on joining Swolnormous X, the Swol fam, for all the programs, nutrition, meditation, yoga, everything we got going on down below. This is Swolnormous. This is fitness without the bullshit, and we got some bullshit. We got some bullshit going on. Let's jump right into today's video, shall we? This video is about Fierce Fatty. Now, Fierce Fatty is pro-fat. Her purple head is pro-fat. <laughs> I've done extra thirsties. I've done NOCs on her before. This person, Victoria Wellsby, at Fierce Fatty on Instagram, literally is one of those fat positive anti-diet culture trolls, as it were. Now, this is just nonsensical, alternate reality type shit. There's a reason why this pisses me off so bad. It's because it's founded on nonsense. It's founded on feelings. It's founded on people's lack of responsibility, lack of personal responsibility. It's easier not to change. It's easier to stay comfortable and fat when it is killing thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of people every month and year. Like millions of people are sick. Millions of people are pre-diabetic. Millions of people have diabetes. Tens of thousands die every month from obesity-related issues. What is going on here? Why is this acceptable? Why is this acceptable on Instagram? Why is this kind of stuff acceptable on YouTube? Why is it acceptable to accept obesity? Why is it acceptable to spread just misinformation, blatant misinformation? Check out this Instagram post. Getting skinny shamed is not the same as systemic fat phobia. Getting skinny shamed is not the same as systemic fat phobia. Let's get some more context because everything has to be systemic, right? Everything is just rotten to its core. This country is so terrible. We're so against fat people. Maybe we should be more against disease. Maybe we should be more against immobility. Don't you think? Don't you think we should be more against things that kill people? You would think so. Let's read this caption because we need some context on this lunacy. Any type of body shaming is wrong. Shaming someone for having a small body is wrong. Shaming someone for having a fat body is wrong. But there is a massive difference between the two. There's a lot of feelings going on shaming someone. Let me give it to you straight before we get into all these, all these points or lack thereof. If you are getting shamed, if you are feeling shame, it's you. Sticks and stones, words, words, get over the words. You're not getting shamed. If you're obese, it's because you ate too much. You're not exercising enough. You got too much human. You don't take care of your body. It's your resume. It lets everyone know, hey, this is how I take care of my body. If you're a few pounds overweight, it doesn't mean you're not taking care of your body or doing your best, but you can do better. Why can't we encourage people to do better and educate them on why it's better to take care of their bodies? Doesn't mean you have to be a fitness model, but you're not gonna be morbidly obese if you take care of yourself. You not, that's why it's a medical term. Fat people are discriminated against on a systemic basis. It's not healthy, it should be. We should be against being obese. We should be. You could be fat if you want to, obviously. It's fucking popular nowadays. You get a lot of followers, get a lot of credibility, get a lot of traction, get a lot of influencer status by promoting laziness. But Papa Swolio, not everyone that's lazy is, you know, that's not the reason for everyone. Okay, the 0.0001% of people that are magically obese, magically obese from just sucking down air. The world is not built for fat bodies. Chairs are too small. Airplane seats are made for small bodies. Airplane seats are made for human beings. Now, they're not comfortable for people that are unusually tall either, but they're made for the majority of humans. If you want more space, then you gotta pay first class. Pay for more space because an airline needs to make money, so they need X amount of seats to fill them up for ticket prices. So if you wanna have bigger seats and have 10 seats on a fucking airplane so morbidly obese people can travel, the seats are gonna be like three grand a pop 
for a routine, like a routine flight is gonna be a fortune. So you need to pay more for upgrading or you need to find other methods of travel or pay for two seats. Why shouldn't you pay for more space? You gotta pay for extra baggage. You wanna bring more weight onto the plane and in, in size in the form of baggage. You gotta pay extra. Well, if you wanna bring on more weight in terms of your person and more size, if you take up two people, then you should pay for two people. It just makes sense or don't be the size of two people. Take care of your health. Fat people's health, and you know what? I'm not done yet. Chairs are too small. Chair, this is so general. Chairs are too small for basketball players too. They're not complaining. They use their abilities and they use their height and they play in the NBA. And a few, a small percentage of people that are extremely tall play in the NBA, but you know what I'm saying? Tall people don't have it easy. They're not whining and complaining. It just is what it is. You gotta do the best you can. But everyone's gotta have a chair that fits your fat ass. It's ridiculous. Fat people's health status is presumed by the size of their body and fat people are denied evidence-based medical care. Because you can very easily tell if someone's healthy, if they are morbidly obese, yeah, they're not healthy because of that by itself. Like, of course, you can see that. That's a physical manifestation of not taking care of yourself. If you're eating all the right foods, you're exercising, you're meditating, you have low stress, you're doing yoga regularly, you're recovering, you're sleeping well, you're hydrating well, you're not gonna be morbidly obese. You won't have this problem. You're complaining about the effects of not taking care of yourself. You should go towards the source of the issue. Fat people are paid less than straight-sized people and even less than thin people. Are they paid less or do they make less because they're sick more often? They probably can't do as many jobs either. So the averages are gonna go down because they probably take more sick days and they probably can't get all the positions that someone else can get because you can't move as well. Maybe you just can't, you're not doing manual labor very efficiently if you're 450 pounds. Fat people are hired for jobs less and less likely to be promoted into leadership roles regardless of their skills and competence levels. Well. Okay, maybe fat people don't try as hard. Maybe fat people aren't available for as many jobs because of their obesity. They're not able to do as many positions because they can't fit in the truck or they can't fit in the car. They can't do a lot of heavy lifting because they can't fucking move. Like these are skewed. These are skewed and randomly just thrown out there statements. Any of these facts can be shown, oh, this is because of sick days, this is because of the jobs that they can only do because they're obese and overweight. Like, would you trust someone? Would you, would you hire someone? Seriously, would you hire someone, let's say at the same height, one person is at a great weight at 175 pounds. Let's say an, an, an adult male, let's say 170, 175. All right, let's say that's an ideal weight. Let's say all things being equal, would you hire that person or the obese person at 350 pounds with the same resume? I would hire the thinner person because they're healthier. Yeah, I would. Only 25%, sorry, comma, straight data. Data from where? Only 25% of people say they would date a fat person. I think it's actually less. I honestly think it's less. I think it's less, I think it should be less. I wouldn't date a fat person. That's subjective. So what? Then don't be fat. Like you're complaining about the outcome. It's like change the f source of the fucking problem and none of this matters. This is ridiculous. So what? If people don't find you attractive, it's because most people aren't attracted to like imminent death. Most people aren't attracted to disease. I'm not, I don't find it attractive. Now what? Now what? Group me in with that, because I would not. I would not, I don't find it attractive. And most people don't for a reason. Hmm? Most people don't for a reason. Most fat people can't shop in brick and mortar stores and can only buy clothes online. Well, most people, a lot of people buy clothes online anyway, because it's convenient. Most fat people can't shop in brick and mortar stores. I had problem shopping in brick and mortar stores. Yeah, because my body, not many people have big fucking arms. So I'd put on a shirt and my arms would rip the sleeves or get stuck, or I put on jeans and it would fit around my muscular booty and my thighs. And then I would have a huge waist. Like I would, to get jeans that would fit my thighs and my shape, it would be like, a foot extra around the waist. It took a long time to find clothes and stuff that would fit me, okay? I'm not as muscular as I used to be, but that was a problem for me and I take care of my health. It's just most people don't exercise and sizes have changed dramatically across the board. So my favorite shorts are these sweatpant style shorts from Express. I haven't seen them, I think they stopped making them, but these are a small. I haven't worn a small since like middle school or early high school, like a small. I don't even remember when I wore a small. I usually wear a medium or large, but because everyone's getting so fucking fat, it's changing the sizes. You can comment down below, because this is a fact. Sizes have changed. So I had, I had problems finding clothes, and there are a lot of clothes that still don't fit me. I'm not complaining. I'm just, I work around it. I do the best I can. If you can't fit into fucking clothes, 
<laughs> Whose fault is that? The people that make the clothes or your fucking lack of initiative? Super fat and infinifat people struggle to find things even online. Super fat and infinifat. You realize you're categorizing different types of fatness. That people are so fucking fat, you can't just be fat anymore. You have to have different degrees of fatness. People are so obese, you can't have small, medium, and large. You gotta have XL. Okay, I get it. Some people are in XL. You gotta have 2XL. Okay, maybe you're really tall, maybe you're, okay. Triple XL, 4XL, 5XL. What the fuck is going on? Now all the sizes have to get so much bigger, we have to normalize that to make people that would normally order 4XL, now we gotta call them super fat. Get the super fat size, not 4XL, that's what you are. You're fucking fat, super fat, and infinifat. How is that a compliment? How is that a compliment? But saying the word obesity isn't. Super fat, you want me to call you super fat? I mean, that is what you are. Or infinifat, you're just fat. Stop making new words. Enough with the new fucking words. You fat. That's not an insult, that's a description. If you're fat, we all supposed to have fat, but you're not supposed to be fat. And fat is a state of mind. There are a lot of obese people inside Swarmus X that are crushing it, but you can't be in denial of the facts. So drop a comment down below if the word fat offends you or if it inspires you to make a change. And people that watch these videos, I know inside the Swole Fam, you don't mind the word fat. It lights a fire on your fucking ass. I'm fat, but not for long. Or I used to be fat. Fuck that shit. I mean, this is making an argument as if being obese is a good thing. Drop a comment down below. How do you like being obese? How comfortable is that for you? Are you obese? Were you obese? How comfortable is that? Do you want to be obese? Do you miss being fat? Or is your life better now? How has your life improved? By changing your body composition, getting rid of all that extra fat. Here are just a few examples rattled off the top of my head, but the list is endless. No, it's not. I mean, you can endlessly complain. I mean, that's what we're reading here. We're reading someone just bitching and fucking moaning rather than changing themselves. Change, improve yourself or shut up. Fat people die because our bodies are not welcome in society. All people die, all men die, but not every man truly loves. Come on, come on, that was a good one. Every man dies. Good movie, a little Braveheart action in there. You didn't think I was gonna throw that in there, a little, a little MG in there. Fat people die because our bodies are not welcome in society. Fat people die because all people die, and fat people are just more prone to disease and things that cause earlier death. That's why you don't see really obese people later in life because they don't exist or they're not leaving their house because they can't fucking move. You see what this language does? It's bullshit. So yes, skinny shaming sucks, but fat shaming is deadly. No, it's not. You're fat, change it. That's not deadly. You eating yourself to death, that's deadly. I'm just stating a fact. Think about this next time you want to say that thin shaming is as bad as fat shaming. Are you also having to deal with the world where everywhere you turn, you're reminded that your body is wrong? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, I have muscular, fit, white privilege. So <laughs> my skin color is wrong. Everything's wrong about me these days. Everything's wrong about old Papa Swolio. I am the epitome of the bad man. Yeah, the bad fit man. Actually, I work my ass off every day for the past fucking 20 years to be a healthy person and to inspire others to do the same. So yeah, I'm pretty much reminded all the fucking time. How about you fam? What are your thoughts on all this shit? Drop a comment down below. What do you think of this fucking nonsense? And what's your experience with obesity? Are you fat? Are you an ex fat? Would you like to be fat again? Were you once obese and now you're no longer obese? Now you're like, I wish I was morbidly obese again. Am I wrong? Do I have this all completely wrong? I don't think so. But drop your comments down below. And if you are tired of this bullshit and you want to join the greatest fitness fam in the realm, you want to change your status, you want to gain muscle, or you want to lose a ton of fat, got a lot of obese people, got a lot of skinnier people, got a lot of young people, a lot of older people, a lot of beginners, a lot of experts inside Solenormous X. So check it out. We got the Summer Swole specials going on right now. And especially with gyms closing, a lot of stuff up in the air. Again, like I've been saying, you can do it all from home. You can do it on your computer, on your tablet. You could do it on a TV. You could take it anywhere. So full programs, dumbbell work, barbell work, kettlebell, band, all of it. You got yoga, you got meditation, the brain gain section. You got nutrition, got a recipe archive, the elimination diet, everything over at swanormousx.com plus the best fitness fam in the realm in the Swole fam. So check the links down below for SwoleNormousX.com and I'll see you real soon for some more nuts on your chin. Peace the fuh out. We stay woke, but y'all sleep. Real emo, but y'all she. Out in public, she a good girl, but at the crib, she a real free. New throne for the new king. Same kid, now my streets go. Same gang, got the cheat code. I said stay woke, we in real emo. I said stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. I said stay woke, real emo. Stay woke, real emo. Y'all some jokers, y'all a bunch of clowns.
I get a laugh out of me. You can talk, but you can't denounce. I live a different theology. Why I transfer to a new account? You just fucked over a prodigy. Posted up with a running crown. You are the king of the apology. You about to see a new side of me. I hope you know. We stand up and watch our enemy go. Empire fall, my legacy grows. I might just.